Hey, Rachel. Hey, guys. Yeah, another beautiful day here in southern Colorado. It has been a bit breezier across the lower elevations today than it was yesterday. I do expect the wind to begin to die down as we take you into the late evening and first part of tonight. We are tracking some moisture moving into the state. It's bringing a few showers up across the high country. We'll keep all the rain tonight over the mountains, but tomorrow those showers will move a little farther toward the east, bringing us a better chance for rain. It is going to get cooler next week, so enjoy these warm temperatures while they last. We'll start skycast off at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. For the lower elevations, expect a mixture of clouds and sunshine. By 7 a.m. tomorrow, though, we'll already start to see a few showers once again firing up across the high country. Rain will continue to spread across the mountains through lunchtime. Notice, though, we'll stay dry through lunchtime here in southern Colorado. That changes in the afternoon. By 3 o'clock, we'll start to see a few spotty showers popping up around the Pikes Peak region. A better chance for heavier rain moves in, though, over the Palmer Divide by tomorrow evening. This is a look at 7 o'clock. The storms could produce some bursts of heavy rain, but I don't anticipate that we'll get any severe weather, thankfully, tomorrow afternoon. And anything that does pop up, it gets out of here by midnight tomorrow night with skies clearing out by your early Saturday morning. As far as temperatures are concerned, I do anticipate that it'll be a little bit warmer tonight thanks to the extra clouds that we'll have in place. 40s and 50s for the lower elevations, 30s and 40s once you head up into the mountains and mountain valleys. High temperatures tomorrow, not all that different than what we had out there today. 75 in Colorado Springs, 82 in Pueblo. With low 80s expected for the southeastern corner of the state, 56 in Leadville, 64 in Gunnison. Keep in mind, once those showers start to move overhead, though, if you do get some rain, it will cool things off by about 10 to 20 degrees. So beware if you're heading to any of the Friday night football games tomorrow night. Could be a bit on the soggy side, and you will need the jacket. Colorado Springs, 75 degrees tomorrow, 74 then on Saturday, with a 30% chance for storms through the first half of the weekend. We'll dry it out Sunday, Monday, as we're in between storm systems, but our next system. Set to move in by the middle of next week. This next system bringing some noticeably cooler air with high temperatures falling back into the upper 60s Tuesday and Wednesday. Pueblo, 82 degrees tomorrow, 81. Then on Saturday, we'll dry it out. Saturday, Sunday, we'll keep it dry Monday. Storms return Tuesday. Temperatures fall back into the mid 70s and we'll stay there through Thursday of next week. In Canyon City tomorrow, looking for a high temperature of 79, 78 then on Saturday, a 20 to 30 percent chance for storms both days. We'll dry it out Sunday, Monday with storms returning along with cooler temperatures by the middle of the work week. In Teller County, 68 degrees tomorrow, 67 then on Saturday. We'll keep a pretty high chance for showers Friday, Saturday. We'll drop the chance on Sunday. Monday looks to stay dry, but it's likely going to be pretty windy on Monday ahead of our next system that will drop temperatures into the upper 50s. And we talked about it before, but that Wednesday night temperature looking awfully chilly. It is going to start to feel a bit more like September and soon to be October weather by the middle of next week. The party's got to end sometime, I guess, you know? <laughs> Why does the party have to end, Bart? I mean, we're just getting started. Now gonna, it's time for the boots, the sweaters, the pumpkin spice, everything. But the fall party really has been spectacular.